And I say, why do you want to be an actor? And uh, they tell me various reasons why they want to be an actor. And I say, well, you've got to train like an Olympic athlete. You have got to train to be an actor. You've got to get up early. You've got to do your work. You've got to work at weekends. You've got to work for nothing. You've got to miss meals. <laughs> uh, all these things are part of the training. You don't just sort of step forward and say, oh, I am an actor. <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> it's something you have to love. And if you love it, well, then there's no, no problem doing all the things that need to be done. That's yeah. what I've found with people who, um, for want of a better word, made it. That's awesome. right. And Chef Blake's saying that you can learn everything online. And, and, I, and I, um, yeah. I agree. There's just so much there. That, that's what I've found in my kind of process is, uh, like, I would go out. So this was last year when I was, you know, trying to forge my way and I was doing basic videography sort of jobs um, as well as trying to tie into the, the community, the film community here on the coast which is obviously not the hub of, you know, film at this stage. Oh. But um, nonetheless, there's a few people around and you can start learning, like getting involved with that little kind of short film we did and you see how yeah. stuff happens. But, uh, yeah, I, I just found for myself, like if I won a certain project and then there were bits and pieces that I didn't know how to do, I'd get on YouTube and I might just watch four or five different people explain how to do that little step, you know, uh, yeah. all the way through to doing you know, some reasonable quality special effects in uh, After Effects and what have you. So, yeah, it's more of a hands-on thing, I feel, and a bit more of an art form and a craft than, um, you know, an academic pursuit. Yeah, well, it's both. It's, it's called show business. Part of it's show and part of it's business. Um, but it's an art and a craft at the same time. Same with, with acting, you know. The people, I, I used to run acting schools. I still do occasionally. And... I say, tell me how to act. And I said, well, I can't tell you how to act. Show me what you can do. And um, I'll tell you how to improve your performance on screen. I can't tell you how to act. Uh, there are others who do that, Stanislavski and there's millions of them. Um, but I can tell you what will transmit on the screen and what won't. So it's part art, part craft. It's, well, as you say, as you said in your introduction, it's a, just a wonderful world to live in if you can. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. And it's, I, I don't know, it's funny because I think there's like a bit of an invisible barrier. Um, and I think the barrier is more, you know, in people's minds. Because I know for, for my personal journey, I've heard other people say the same. When I sort of came out of the block and I was like, okay, that's it. I'm leaving my corporate career. I'm sick of that. I hate it, in fact. Um, and I'm moving to the coast. And, um, and now I'm going to try and get into filmmaking, you know, and I want to ideally become a, you know, a director, writer, whatever. And um, lots of my friends probably still to this day just like kind of wrote me off. Like, you know, they just thought he's off with the fairies. Um, but the, the, the strange thing with that invisible barrier and what, what I, how I counter it or what I said was, you know, look, um, any of the famous people out there, whether it's in film like, you know, yourself or, uh, you know, um, any of the greats, Spielberg, Tarantino, whatever, they're all just people. Like, we're all just human beings. Yeah. <laughs> and they acquired their knowledge somehow and they went out and did it. So, like, you're, not, you're obviously not going to turn to that person instantly, but, you know, you, 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 if you don't start the journey, you're definitely not going to get there. Um, That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. You just have to have, have to have the love for it and you have to... Again, I've said to actors, I've said, why do you want to be an actor? Do you think it's a glamorous blah, blah, blah? And I quickly give them the schedule on something like All Saints or Home and Away or something. <clears throat> tell them about how they've got to be up at 5.30 in the morning, they've got to turn up five days a week, they can't be late. All the things that are really true of actors. And I say, why do you want to be an actor? And uh, they tell me various reasons why they want to be an actor. And I say, well, you've got to train like an Olympic athlete. You have got to train to be an actor. You've got to get up early. You've got to do your work. You've got to work at weekends. You've got to work for nothing. You've got to miss meals. <laughs> Uh, all these things are part of the training. You don't just sort of step forward and say, oh, I am an actor. <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> it's something you have to love. And if you love it, well, then there's no, no problem doing all the things that need to be done. That's yeah. what I've found with people who, um, for want of a better word, made it. 
they've done it because they love it, you know. Yeah, yeah, and and the thrill, I guess, the thrill of um of completing things, you know, even even just that short film we did, it was very satisfying to kind of I guess go through that process of uh, reading it from a script and figuring out who was going to do what and getting all those different ducks lined up and then basically you know the 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 less glamorous stuff of duct taping cardboard to windows to try and block out the light and you know but i think it's part of the fun as well but you know like i kind of personally i i like that concept from the get-go the idea of just doing a bit of a macgyver on lots of things you know uh cobbling things together and yeah. i imagine even at the biggest scale you're always going to have little scenarios where you have to kind of jimmy something up or you know like yeah, yeah i've heard someone talk about filmmaking and say it's really problem solving has that been your experience on the on the bigger sets you know have you still Absolutely. had set up scenarios every time every time it's about problem solving all the time instantly particularly when you're directing because you've got 30 or 40 people hanging around waiting for you to say stop go go left go right or that'll do <laughs> it's um it's problem solving all the time and on location of course you've got all those variables you've got your wind and your sun and your clouds and your, uh, <laughs> um, but it's about it's about looking for the best results you can possibly get given the circumstances i th i feel yeah. i've never had the never had the um <clears throat> the ability or the whatever it is the, the luck i suppose to be able to say oh no we're not shooting anything today we'll come back tomorrow I mean, that's never, ever happened to me. Yeah. Um, while I make television in particular, people say, it never rains here. And I look out the window and it's pissing rain. <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 they say, never rains. And I've got, but, 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 I've got people in the water supposed to be swimming and on surfboards talking to each other and blah, blah, blah. And I say, well, you can't do that, can you? And I go, no, what will I do? Oh, I know. Well, let's just have them run into the change room and we'll do it in there. Okay. Everyone in the change room. We're not on the beach. We're in the change room. <laughs> so, you know, you make instant decisions and everything changes and suddenly you need lights, whereas you hadn't planned to. And yeah, all the time, every day, which is all yeah. part of the fun. It's all part yeah. of the fun of, of doing it. But if you're directing, you're the, the guy or the girl who has to say, oh, this is what we're going to do. So, yes. Um, that, that's interesting because you see the outcome of that and you think, oh, yeah, that sort of worked. Next time I think I'll uh, hire a bus and get them all on the road. <laughs> you don't know. You know till yeah. Comes. But it always yeah. works. Those, those at, at home and even some of those in the production office didn't know anyway. You know, you, you get your... your... Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, a different spot now. We have a different backdrop. Um. Yes. So I don't know if you caught that. I was just asking to explain the difference between a, a producer and a director for people who don't kind of know. Because I think pe people, who, people who aren't in the industry at all really, I think, think they're the same thing. And sometimes people think the producer's the head on show. Other people think the director's the head on show. Yeah. Oh, well, it varies. I mean, the producer's generally the person that pulls the whole show together. Um, but... In, in so doing, gives a lot of responsibility to um, the director and the DOP and everybody else who's on the show. In fact, one of the key things I've learned in my extended experience is to give as much responsibility to those who deserve it as you can, um, because A, they'll do a better job than you'd do anyway, and uh, B, that's why you hire them, you know? So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so... The responsibility basically of the producer is to start the project, raise the money and present the project at the end to the people who um, invested in it and say, OK, here's your show. Now, how the producer does that is different in every single case. But one of the things you have to do is hire a director or be the director yourself. Yeah. Um, and it's the director who makes the decisions generally on... Um, you know, how long you spend each day shooting, the sort of shots you're going to do, the performance of the actors. The act actual crafting of the film is the director's job. The crafting of the project is the producer's job. That's the best yeah. way to explain it. 